Hello, hello everyone, and welcome on in to the Saturday stream where we are celebrating Big Eugene's very first birthday today. So I uh, hope that you're all gonna gonna give some big, big happy birthday wishes to the big man Eugene himself. And uh, we're gonna play Egypt because Egypt, I, I at least I'm pretty sure. Uh, hopefully, I'm not just making this up, but I'm pretty sure that that the Egyptians worshipped cats, if I remember correctly. So we can put down plenty of sphinxes as uh, as as ways of honoring Eugene with cat statues. So. That's that's gonna be the plan today. Just gonna you know take it take it a little bit easy. Just kind of chill, have have a good time, and uh, you know hopefully, hopefully get some big big banter going on. Big huge huge, correct. So hello Javier, hello Key, hello Ahsoka, hello hello or wait Ahsoka Ashiko Ashika Asuka Maria, I don't know. Hey Han, <laughs> Greg, Shadow of Gaia, Zach. CJ, hey, a happy birthday, Eugene. So his, his birthday was technically on Friday. If you're not in the Discord, you should check the Discord uh, because there is a there is a birthday picture of of Eugene in the Discord. Hang on, maybe I can maybe I can put it in place of the Eugene cam just for the memes. Where he he is he, he was a, a very handsome birthday boy. All right, let's see, save image as. All right, let's see if I can put it up on OBS. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. It's a it's a pretty good one. Uh, source image. Image to browse, downloads. Huge. All right, there we go. Saxy half face reveal. Not really. Saxy chin reveal. When? But this is this is what we're really looking for here. We want this man. There we go. See that this 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 was this was Eugene on on his birthday. I got him all dressed up with a nice a nice hat. His birthday was Thursday, not Friday. Oh, wait, what did I say? Did I say Friday? Oh, oops. I meant Thursday. But yeah, so this was this was Big Gene in his his birthday attire. Looking like a proper a proper birthday cat. Yeah, what a, what an absolute cute lad. So, there you go. You you you've now all been blessed with the image of the man himself. Big big huge Gene. All right. Let's switch over to Civ. It's been a while since I've played some Civ. I might be a little bit rusty and terrible, but that's okay. Who are we playing again? Egypt. What's Egypt's name? Cleopatra. Oh, that's right. Okay. Playing on Deity. We'll play on Continents and Islands. We'll play on Standard Map Size. Do I want any game modes today? Nah. Or maybe, yeah, honestly, maybe I want some Secret Societies. I'll turn on Secret Societies. What the heck? I'll turn on Monopolies and Corporations as well. I think we'll leave everything else on standard. <laughs> that's a that's a top tier lad. That it is. It is indeed a top tier lad. Hello, Jonathan. All right. I think that we are ready to get rolling here. He is he is a big boy. I know, right? He is he's suddenly grown up to be a big lad. He used to be tiny. <laughs> he tells Rob, thank you very much for the five big ones. We absolutely will make Eugenism and we'll uh, take the lion, the lion profile pick, or not the profile pick, but the religion pick. That way we can have proper, proper due diligence paid to Eugene. The Giga Chad Eugene, I know, right? Absolute Giga Chad. <laughs> Not hearing game audio or notification audio. Probably because I have it muted still. Thank you for calling that out because I would have gone a good while before I turned that on. All right. Decent spawn, actually. Quite all right, I'd say. Rocket. Rocketet. Rocketet. Wait, do we have to be on floodplains or is it next to river? If placed next to a river and we don't receive damage from floods. Okay. So if we're going to go for a religion, we obviously want to get that first. What do you think on the zombie mode on Deity? I think it is painful and unfun. Do I not have cat scouts on? I, I actually don't know. <laughs> Which is funny. However, all right, chat. Hang on. This, this is... Okay, this is actually really good to find this this early. Except we, of course, want Void Singers. Um, we'll go ahead and appoint Thingala, though, starting. So um, I saw that the Civilization Twitter tweeted out a pic of somebody with their cat watching the screen, and they said that they found the scout cat. 
Well, excuse me, I actually shared a picture of Eugene looking at my screen playing Civ whenever it was, like, October. So, like, what? Like, eight or nine months ago, and uh, all of a sudden, this guy's coming in here taking all the cat fame? Excuse me? What? What? What is this? Absolute blasphemy? So, yes, I saw that and I was like, what the heck? Excuse me? So, TLDR, Eugene needs to be the official scout cat. None of this, none of this other stuff. We've met Nazca. Nazca's okay, actually. Especially if we end up settling in a little bit of desert. Junkung. Ooh. Alright, I don't actually want to finish this builder. I'd rather get a settler. We have met the Vietnamese. Bum, 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 bum. Does Mata Tapila give anything aside from... No, it just gives the yields. Okay. It's not It's not the best of the, uh, the natural wonders, that's for sure. We've met Zhao of Portugal. Portugal. Alright, we finished our astrology research, which is good. I think we're going to go for mining next, or maybe pottery is worth it. Eh, we could kind of help. We could like irrigation this game. Portugal and Vietnam. This one ought to be spicy, indeed. Spicy, indeed. It's kind of sad. I, I was thinking about maybe going for a, a Marianu chariot rush, but not against Vietnam. That's just asking to die. At least we got the clear on that. We haven't found any goody huts, though, which makes me sad, because I would really like to have Void Singers. In fact, I kind of feel like I... Well, I guess I don't necessarily need Void Singers, but, like, they're definitely the ones that I would absolutely... Pro oh, excuse me? We should build a Temenanki this game? Actually, well, honestly, a Temenanki in the capital would be pretty decent. Oh, chat, we should go for it. Even though we're not going for a science game, we should just build a Temenanki in the cap. Let's go for it. Just for the meme value. All right, well, holy sight up there. No cat scout? No, no, no. I'm Honestly, I still don't know how... How do you even get the cat scout? You have to, like, link your account with something, right? Whatever it is, I haven't done it. So I, I don't actually have the cat scout. Sad. Uh, we can maybe even take this guy one out more. Then we do hit a negative loyalty modifier, though, which is, an, is not ideal. I'm going to do it anyways, though. And let's start with a monument here. Our capital will grow in two turns anyways, so that should help. I guess we could always... We can just move Pingala there for now. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have to link link the account with 2K. Well, I'm a noob, and I haven't done that, so... Alright, that's a good campus spot. We might as well, honestly, let's buy over to it. Just for the sake of making sure that we have it. There's another geothermal fissure there also. Okay, we finished our holy site. Let's work towards getting a shrine. Hey, Professor Yoshima. How's it going? Alright. Um, do we want to go for the Atemononki play? I think let's do it anyways, just for the meme. Although, the Great Bath is also quite good. We also have this pretty sweet Portugal music. Um, is it worth? Is it worth? We get a lot of yields on those tiles. Don't really have marsh anywhere else. So it's probably not super worth. But <laughs> that being said, I might still do it anyways. I'm going to do it anyways. What the heck? When in Rome, right? When in Rome, do as the Egyptians. Okay, I guess we actually don't need the monument. Let's get a slinger here. For when Portugal will inevitably attack me. Let's also move our warrior down here. Oh, they have a settler. Let's see. Will they leave their settler unguarded ever? 
I'm thinking the answer is probably gonna be no. Hey sexy nice of you to do a birthday stream but my birthday isn't until next February. Also my eye is filled with blood after injections weds. Oh my gosh, Nick Jeffrey, thank you very much for the five pounds. Uh, why is your eye filled with blood? Who deserves more credit? <laughs> what? After injections? Inject injections into your eye? I'm mildly concerned. I mean, Earth Goddess is good, but like, it's not that good anymore, honestly. In fact, it's kind of borderline bad. Yeah, what the blood in the eye, bro, that's nasty. I mean, Divine Spark is obviously always good, so I think we just take Divine Spark. Can never really go wrong with Divine Spark, right? I feel like this guy, he wants to come settle over here, which makes me kind of offended. Okay, he hasn't done, indeed done just that. Um, hmm. In a bit of an interesting spot here. Where we don't have like a ton of space. Okay, a Temenanki has also been taken. So we're just going to finish our shrine here. And up here, I mean, I guess let's get a trader. We're going to need to definitely be getting some settlers out of Rocket. A Rocket Dead. Rocket Dead. Rocket Dead. Is this a restart bit boxed in? I'm thinking, honestly, probably, yeah, but we'll, we'll, uh, hate to say, but it smells like restart. Okay, well, chat has spoken. It's not, like, the worst start in the world. It's not, like, good, though. I don't know, honestly, I'm not, I'm honestly not even 100% sold on it being a restart yet. We got this land up here. As long as we can expand, like, over and around here, like, I think we're still fine. We can probably take Granada as well. Diabetic retinopathy. The injection stopped the condition damaging the small blood vessels in the retina. It's the top it's the top of my list of fun days out. You have done it every couple of months. Oh my gosh. That sounds not fun. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Alright, we can switch off of that because we can probably just get it boosted here soon. We get our religion in not too long from now. Do they have six great profit points per turn. You'd be scared. All right, now we might be uh, we might be in some pretty serious restart territory now, just because of the fact that we are in a dark age, <laughs> and loyalty may be an issue. Loyalty is, in fact, quite an issue. Jump! Pop, 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 pop. If there are no All right, dogs. well, let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be restarting. We could attack Portugal also, though. That honestly might be the play. Hmm, okay, well that's horrible. Marianu Chariot Archers up here. This will be our attempt to save ourselves. Although I believe it will likely be futile. Let's try to grow the city with, like, population, maybe. Uh, yeah, we're probably... They have 48 science per turn already. Yeah, if we didn't have this Dark Age, honestly, I think that this is still salvageable. What is Mariana Chariot Arch counts as ranged, right? Yeah, it does. Um, well, if we're going to attack someone, let's get Victor at least. I guess it doesn't matter where we put him for right now. Get a great... Okay, we get our religion at least. Hey, that's something, right? Okay, hang on. Hear me out. Oh wait, no, we need Eugenism. I almost I almost went with Eugenism. Um work ethic is obviously like pretty pretty solid. Choral music is also pretty decent, though. Mm. <laughs> Let's go choral music, I think. Um and then just to hopefully have any sort of chance of winning this game. Or not immediately losing this game, I should say. Let's get Crusade. I doubt we can afford... Yeah, we can't even afford a missionary for at least, like, 10 turns. So that's also not good. This city is going to rebel quite swiftly. So 
So I think we're probably... Is, is, is Eugenism a radical religion? You know what? It might as well be. I'm pretty sure this game is, is probably just toast. But honestly, still though, I'm not entirely sure. With the Marianu Chariot Archers, I feel like we like don't entirely immediately lose. Okay, yeah, let's send a trader to him. That way we get the road. Also gives us some more... Some more good stuff. We're just going to have everybody kind of chill for right now. We'll get Military Tradition, though. And we'll also get um, Garrison Commander on Victor. I feel like he honestly might come try to attack me. He's kind of he's kind of got that look going right now. <laughs> he's, he certainly may have that look going. Okay, well, we're just going to hit the city a ton. Hey, Cy Russicus. Long time, no see. My troops are merely passing by as well. We're just going to spam as many of these Marianu Chariot Archers as we possibly can. Jump. Bump. I mean, we'll definitely get this city back. Will we? Okay, he's deaf. I feel like he's going to declare war on me, like, very shortly. And I want to step this guy in, but I don't want him to stand on the marsh, because then if we get war declared on us, he's going to get roasted by these other dudes. Jump. Bump. Bow. Alright, if we reassign Pingala there, we still have absolutely god-awful loyalty. So that's a big oof. Which I'm pretty sure means at this point we probably just want to, like, declare war. It's just... Just hope for the best. My capital is surrounded. It is indeed. It's actually... It's quite surrounded. Well, here we go. When in doubt, YOLO. Give him that's a lot of warriors. It is it is quite a few. It's definitely more than more than merely a small number. But we're just gonna keep spamming Marianus and hope for the best. We're probably just gonna lose like very fast. But then again, I honestly the Marianu Archer is like it's pretty strong. Send the old trade route to uh, to Nazca, and that guy's gonna get pillaged in like one second, anyways. Okay, we lost the scout. No surprise there. Okay, these guys over here at the capital though are gonna get just absolutely shredded. There's no way they can like afford to really hit the city center with 35 combat strength. He has 81 science per turn, and we have four. Can you tell I'm a little bit out of practice with Sue? Maybe just a little bit. Okay, well, I don't even care that we've lost that city. I didn't want it anyways. So there. Alright, give everybody some promotions. We're just going to go attack them. Well, if we can ever reach a point where we're not immediately getting attacked. Those chariots are shredding. Yeah, like, honestly, the Marianu Chariot Archer is, like, pretty sick. Alright, well, that guy has died. Chariots do be shredding. This guy can't hit anybody somehow. He can come over here and kill that dude, though. This guy still has, like, m pretty much double our military strength, though, somehow. He evidently must just have, like, a ton of units somewhere. That I don't yet see. 
He has Swordsman as well. Okay, well, that's, that's not exactly what we're looking for. Okay, I'm like 99% certain this is just a restart. But let's give it like at least a few more turns. Just in case, you know? Hello, I would like to attack. Oh god, oh Neptune. He's, he's offering me stuff though. That's a good start. He's continuing to just walk his troops into this meat grinder. Jump, bump, bump, bump. Let's see if we can at least take one city. Just for the sake of spiting him. I mean, he's actually like... He's, he's losing units like pretty fast. No peace. Eugenism is falling. Oh, it is. Oh, we, we actually can afford... Hang on, though. Wait, we can afford a missionary. Which is actually, like, pretty big. Because that means we can now spread religion over here and get the crusade bonus. Let's get, uh, let's get Aerostorm, I guess. Jump, bum, bum, bum. This, there's literally a 0% chance we're gonna do anything here. <laughs> Alright, maybe not 0, but, like, it's definitely, like, very low. Step Slinger into Rocket Dead. I mean, that's a long way to just go for healing. Okay, but hang on, though. Hang on. Hear me out, though. Once this gets converted... I'm thinking we're probably going to be able to do some, like, pretty big damage. This guy needs to come over, though, because otherwise we have nobody to take the city. I also very much envision that... Upon taking the city, we probably are not going to be able to hold it with loyalty unless this dude goes into, like, a Dark Age. So that is something to think about. We have something they don't. Eugene. This is a very good point. This guy is almost dead, though, and he, like, literally absolutely cannot die. Otherwise, we are unable to take the city because I haven't built anything... I haven't built any other military units that are uh, capable of doing so. We'll, uh, we'll maybe slap that one in. He's not in a dark age, but he is only in a normal age now. So, you know what? It's something. He is also taking, like, quite a, a significant amount of damage here. How the heck does he have man-at-arms already? Because he has 98 science per turn, and we have four. <laughs> okay. I'm like, uh, this is... Oh, hang on, though. I never understand how this one works. But if it works how I think it does, we might be in luck. Alright, well, we lost anyways. Alright, this is just a restart. There's a 0% chance of winning this. The mighty Eugenism was simply not enough for us. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you All right, come let's far. maybe not lose. Is now Eugene a cat I own? Yes, quest. he is. From this early cradle of civilization, 
on towards the star. He is indeed my cat. Yeah, we haven't we haven't had Eugene Cam on for a while. Ever since I've uh, I've ever since I moved home for the summer. But whenever whenever I'm back at school, the uh, Eugene Cam will return. So you will get to witness Eugene in all of his glory. Saxy is a human that Eugene owns. This is also an acceptable response. Honestly, you know what? Mm. I mean... So, like, I want to just rush for the uh, the Marianu Chariot Archers, because they're, like, sick. But at the same time, if I do that, I it's going to be tough to get a religion. But maybe right after the religion... So yeah, let's 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 still go for the religion, but then the first thing we get after the religion is gonna be Marianus. And then we'll just demolish people with those. Okay, can I please get like Could I por favor get uh Void Singers this time? Alright, so far it looks like we might have a little bit more space this time. We've met Brussels. You're 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 a little late to Eugene's party. That's okay. He's he he's not he's not upset. This we're technically late for his birthday celebration as well because his birthday was uh was on Thursday. Okay, that is this is irritating because now somebody else is gonna get the clear probably. Oh, maybe not. Okay, good. Say, don't go stealing my era score. Don't go breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. What type of victory are you planning to go for with Egypt? Uh, cultural, I think, is generally the play. You can go domination. But... Uh, I, I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We could go religious as well, I suppose. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go for a cultural victory. I'm going to do a little bit of early domination. For the sake of using my, my wonderful Marianu Chariot Archer. Okay, we did get Void Slingers this time. That's pretty sick. Alright, so we want to get to... Where are the Marianos at? Ah, uh, right there. At the wheel. So, I mean, I want to settle down here because this is some much better land. But at the same time, for the sake of war, I should settle up here. So let's see. If I settle one here eventually. One, two, three, four. I can maybe get one here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to make this so that way there's one in here that I can also still get fresh water on. I don't know where it's going to go yet, though. Don't go break in my heart. No good holy site adjacencies this time, which is a bit of a bummer. Hmm, or is it worth it? It's probably worth it just to get the better settle down here. Just to have a good city. I just have to make sure I don't accidentally lose the settler to barbarians, though. First Vietnam, now go. Yeah, we're not exactly getting, like, the easiest civs to take over early on. I think I'm going to settle right on the amber where that Brussels warrior is. Alright, sure. We'll fight some more. Some more random art. Okay, sir, if you could uh, move, that'd be great. He's, he, he says no. Sir, I'm just trying to go settle, please. If you could move, that'd be great. Alright, we got that. We want... The wheel. 14 turns for the wheel. It's not too bad, actually. This guy is still... He's hes not moving. He says, I am planted here, and this is where I shall remain planted. Maybe if I, like, move around him. Maybe he wants to go over there. Nope. He says, I am going to wait until I am fully healed. Before I even think about moving, darn it. Okay, that actually looks like some pretty decent land over here. He still has not moved, though. 
All right, now he's fully healed, so this is this is where we can hope and say please, please, sir. All right, we don't have a religion or a pantheon yet, so I can't change that one out. Not quite yet. We got someone else down here. Brussels plus Egypt's ability is a decent chance of Machu Picchu. Mm, this actually would be a decent Machu Picchu game as well. Okay, yeah, I'll say that should be the boost to bronze working. And it was indeed. On our way towards a religion... Got a little bit... We can run at least one thing of Holy Sight Prayers just to speed our way. Speed ourselves up on the way there as we work towards the wheel. We're going to be into a Dark Age again, though, which is... I mean, it's obviously not ideal, but it's fine. Take Divine Spark again. Don't reinvent. Okay, we have unlocked the Marianu Chariot Archers. We've also just finished our thing of Holy Sight Prayers. I think let's actually maybe just run run one more, just to be sure that we get it. Also, everyone, don't forget to drop a like on the stream. We have 112 viewers and only 23 likes. SMH. SMH, fellas. Drop those likes, boys. Alright, we got our Void Singers now also see that there is a currently unprotected settler. Ooh. Still an unprotected settler. Hello, sir. I would like to claim your settler. And probably immediately die, though. That's the thing. I'm on. All right, let's also, let's pillage some of these mines. Let's try to, let's try to make our way out. We're probably just going to get destroyed. Oh, wait, no way. They're not just going to let us walk away, are they? Oh my god, they're currently just letting us walk away? This is actually, like, big play. If we can go around and just pillage a bunch of stuff with this scout... He also does have walls in his cap already. Which is quite rude. We get our great person. We found Eugenism. Choral music. Crusade! You know, honestly, like, Crusade, Crusade is quite fitting for, for big man Eugene. Some days he just says, I like to attack. He protect, he attack. More importantly. I don't know. Bravely. He is Eugene. Okay, they're in a Golden Age, which is not surprising at all. Wait, did we go into a Dark Age? Or are we in a Normal Age? Oh, we're in a Normal Age. How do, we, how do we end up in a Normal Age? Founding the religion, I guess? That guy is, I'll say, that guy's toast. There's a 0% chance of that guy living. Alright, found another city. Svenet. Oops, I accidentally just queued up a slinger. I don't really want that. Prove some stuff down here. We actually don't even have animal husbandry yet, which is kind of funny. Okay, look, literally this game, they have 14 science per turn. On turn 50 in the last game, they had, uh, like, both of the other civs we had met had, like, 48 or something just ridiculous. This game is 10 times better than the last. Yeah, we have three cities at turn, whatever we're on, as opposed to, like, one or two in the last one. Actually, maybe let's send this guy to the capital, help out. How about the capital a little bit? Tricky thing here is that he is probably going to have walls up in... He's definitely going to have walls up in both of his cities by the time we actually, like, get there to do anything. I mean, the thing is, though, like, the Marianu Chariot Archers are, like, pretty decent at fighting against walls, though. If you have enough of them, that is. We'll put a pasture over here. It comes a 2-3 tile. That's pretty good. We have a moderate flood. Hasn't really done anything bad for us, which is always... You'll love to see it. 
Oops. I don't want a chariot. I want a chariot archer. Can go improve that over there. NPC scaling is just whack. It, uh, it's, it so is. Oh, can we potentially get yet another settler? Free settler part three. Okay, darn. He's, he has in fact just settled. Well, that can perhaps become a city though. Free real estate. Hey, that's free real estate. We just need to funnel all of our Marianu Chariot Arches, though, up here. And we will, we will continue to just spam them as well. I don't want to move anyone in too close just yet. That's the thing. These guys are good on offense, but they're not, like, super great on defense. I'll move this guy over here. That way he at least gets the defensive bonus from being in the woods. There we go. He's probably going to be able to get walls up in this city by the time we're able to, like, really get in there. We do have, like, a lot. We have a lot of chariot archers coming. He has 40 combat strength in that city, though. That's kind of high. Alright, I mean, I want to, like, move in here, but I am doubtful of my ability to actually do anything against this city. That costs 150 faith, so two more turns and we can get it, but... So for right now, let's just start pelting the city as much as we possibly can. But I'm, like, quite certain he's gonna be able to get up walls. Probably, like, in a turn or two. He does also have Swordsman, which is not super nice. Okay. We can get a missionary to spread Crusade over there. Ow. I'll give that a dude a promotion, though, just to keep him nice and healthy. We're getting pretty close on taking the city out. Oh, let's just put in. Rename Rockadet to Rakatet. <laughs> Nick Jeffrey, thank you very much for the two pounds. All right, Ra. Cat at. Rockadet. Fitting. Quite fitting, I do say. All right, if I just move in. Okay, we don't have any movement, so I. It's a bit of a, a stupid move, but... This is the other thing. Since we don't have the city under siege, we have to continually attack it. Because otherwise it's going to heal too much. We might be able to take it next turn. Keyword being might. Let's get a warrior over here, just to have another one. And let's get Victor, because we're going to need him probably in that city over there. Oh, we actually lost that guy? Okay, kind of surprised me. We did convert the city. We got the city. It's only negative 5.3 loyalty as well, so it should be stable here. Now comes the potentially difficult part of if we have to go into his territory anymore to do anything. Because he has walls up in, like, pretty much all those cities. What's the strategy for Egypt? So, normally I like to go a little bit of, a little bit of early war with the, uh, the Marianu Chariot Archer. Because it is, like, a really, really strong unit. So, just uh, do some early fighting with them. And then as you get later on, you can kind of kind of chill out a bit. And then uh, go for culture victory. You can go for religious victory as well. Domination victory, I mean, you can go for as well, so... They're they're fairly, like... Fairly versatile, I'd say. So, like, this game I'm going for a, a, a crusade play early on. Try to really buff up how effective these chariot archers are. 
We'll see how well it works. <laughs> Okay, hopefully I don't lose that missionary. I very well may. They could step out there and kill him. If I get the city converted, though, that's, like, all I need. Alright, they did indeed kill him. Darn it. It's probably not my smartest move. Can we kill this guy in return, though? Not really, no. Jump, bump, 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 bump. Not gonna make turn 76 oligarchy rip. Yeah, it's gonna be very late. He also does have a great profit, which I don't like because then... It's nice now because we're not really fighting against another religion. We are also losing loyalty over here as well. I mean, if this war even, like, doesn't go that well, it's not the end of the world for us, honestly. We do, like, decent wall damage, though. The city is rebelling quite fast now. Don't like to see that. The problem is, right now, he's at, obviously, a much higher... He has a lot more gold output than... Or, not gold, science output than we do. I'm gonna buy an old god obelisk up here. No snippy snippy today? No, we have to we have to celebrate Eugene instead. We're celebrating the man's birthday. We have Eugenism. And now we're getting barbarians. Okay, I really do not appreciate this. We have enough stuff to fight! These stupid missionaries are like pretty expensive. Okay, we're gonna finish an old god obelisk down there, which will get us some more faith output to help us afford the missionaries a little faster. I think with Crusade, I think we can probably take some of his inner cities. Jump bum 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 bum. Oh, let's send this guy temporarily up here. I feel like we probably just want some more settlers out of the capital. You really have the galls to attack them, I know, right? Yeah, they see this is the unfortunate thing in both of these games that we've uh we've done today so far. We've spawned next to people that are not super easy to attack in early war, <laughs> being Vietnam and the Gaul. Actually, I feel like it's probably easier for us to go for his capital. That's what I'm thinking at least. Why no chariot slash warrior in the city? In what city? Oh, in this one? Oh, I mean, I definitely should have had one. This volcano has erupted a lot. I get some nice yields out of it. Okay. He could just continue to feed me, feed me some units like that. Yeah, I think the play is actually to go for the capital. I feel like it's easier to attack. Then again, there is Marsh there as well. Hmm. The terrain is making this a little bit difficult since he has the walls. It's the thing, I can like step in and shoot, but I don't want to die. If we lose any of these chariot archers, that's going to feel pretty bad. What are the best top three or top five best civs to play with preserve slash culture strategy, according to me? Okay, well, number one is undoubtedly Bull Moose Teddy. Bull Moose Teddy is absolutely ridiculous with uh, the preserve culture strategy. Like, borderline broken. Yeah, they have an archer in the city as well. Thirteen gold per turn. I'll take that. Uh, aside from Bull Moose Teddy... Hmm, who else is any good for that? Everything has I'm trying to think. Nobody honestly really, like, stands out super good in my head. At least not initially. Inca? Yeah, I guess Inca are alright, then. Right, let's see. Do we just immediately lose one of these guys? If we do, big sad. Let's maybe try to deal with this barb encampment while we're here. 
I mean, yeah, this is pretty... The chance of success here is, is pretty much zero. So let's kill what units we can. Why did it say that was going to do, like, a ton of damage, but then it didn't do, like, any? What is this? I'm about to explain. Okay, he'll give us a lot of stuff, luckily. Okay, he won't give us any great works, but we'll take we'll take what he gives us. And then we'll just we'll, we'll try to chill out a little bit now. Play a bit more of a Oh, he took the good campus spot. Darn it. At least we'll we will at, at least temporarily chill. Maybe let's try to convert him to our religion right now. That way if we want to go back and attack, we can. Project Hootie 2, because you can improve mountain tiles. I guess that's true. Oh, oh it, it does give the yields to the mountain tiles? I actually didn't know that it worked like that. Alright. I mean... I don't know, man. Part of me wants to say this is another restart. I feel like... We're too far behind. It's turn 84 and we have, like, nothing. Why do we keep spawning next to these super defensive civs? Like, it's it's technically playable, but, like, it's gonna be a bit of a slog. I don't know, chat. What are your, what are your thoughts and opinions? Restart or no restart? Why am I building this here? This is terrible. Go for religion or diplo? Uh, perhaps. Yeah, we're actually, I mean, we're not like in like an unlosable or an unwinnable position, I don't think. However, a lot of people do say restart, and I kind of agree. Okay, I mean, honestly, the thing is, I feel like if we're going to do this, I feel like we don't get the religion. And also just hope that we don't spawn next to some super turtly defensive sieve, like right away. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. How does the AI have 68 science? I mean, it was turned like 90. We need to start... No, I don't want to start next to Gilgabro. We'll get destroyed. I want to start next to someone I can kill, but I want to start next to someone that doesn't get a bunch of defensive bonuses, like, really early on. On towards the stars. There will be those who underestimate you. If you had more science, you could have had a decent chance. Well, yeah, that's the thing, like... We're putting a lot of eggs in different baskets by trying to go for religion and domination, like, and... Because then if, if you go for religion and domination, then that means you don't get science. Which means that if you fail your domination, then... You're out of luck, because then you have no science to be able to catch up and do a second attack. So, that's why I'm saying I don't necessarily know if, like, the religion is the play. To the great beasts of the Stone Age. You like jazz? Yes, sir. I do I do quite enjoy me some jazz. You have come far. Now begins your greatest From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Vietnam now. No, we had Vietnam the first time. But you are cunning and full We need to pillage more. Well, the problem is we haven't even really gotten to get in close enough to pillage. Okay, this is a weird spawn, but I kind of like it. Dude, this is like, if we get a Temenanki here, this is big pog. What a strange spawn, though. We have Tundra, Desert, Marsh, Ocean. All right, let's maybe, let's try to not go for the religion this time. What does the Sphinx do again? It gives you some faith, some culture, and uh, appeal, right? Oh, does it not give appeal anymore? Oh, yeah, it does. Plus two appeal. Yeah. So that that's why it is like a... It's a pretty good cultural wonder because you get a lot of appeal out of it. Plus two appeal is pretty good. And it's one of the one of the few tile improvements that you can put, like, almost anywhere. Barb encampment. A Barbara encampment. Hey, Bose, it is Eugene Day. Well, I mean, I guess technically Thursday was Eugene Day, but today is the, the celebratory day of Eugene. Also, what is, is that? Yosemite okay, Yosemite in the tundra? Interesting. 
We've gotten the Owls of Minerva. Right, we definitely need, like, a food source here in this Who capital. More... Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? I don't know, man. Beats me. Okay, Germany. There we go. That's someone that we can kill early on. Although, he is very far away. Oh man, we weren't able to get the clear on the barb encampment because like nine people hit it at once. Every day is Eugene Day. You know, you're not wrong. At, like, I mean, well, at least in, in Eugene's mind, every day is Eugene Day. That's, that's for sure. Let's get this food tile because we could desperately use it. Every day is Eugene Day. Every day I'm Genie Ween. Do a Pyramids play? Oh, perhaps. Pyramids play isn't terrible, this one. Actually, wait, maybe... Yeah, what the heck, let's still get that. Watch, we're gonna go for the Mariano Chariot Archer Rush, and then there's gonna, like, Germany will be the closest person to me. <laughs> Which actually might be the case. <laughs> Which, I'm gonna be so salty if that is the, actually the case. I mean, I'm gonna laugh, but, like, at the same time, be kinda mad. This also is like an incredible Atemanonki game for the capital. Oh god, tell me that. I, I'm actually like, okay, whatever, I'm just restarting. <laughs> we're like, alright, we're gonna go for the Marionu Chariot Archer play, and then next thing you know, there's literally nobody around us. In your Brazil game, Nubia got the pyramids turn 23. Okay, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that that's, that's, I don't think I've ever seen the pyramids that fast. Also, what's up with the music? I feel like the music the is continuing to go, like, <laughs> through the, the, the menu screen. How's the game going, Han? Uh, it's going all right. We're on restart, I think, number four. Or no, okay, o only only restart three, actually, so that's that's not too bad. Not as bad as it usually is whenever I play. There will be those who it was funny, asleep. chat. So I was I was talking to my PhD advisor. We were talking about Civ because he 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 plays a lot of Civ Five, and he was saying about how he like he was he was talking about how he had won a game on Deity, and he was saying that he just restarts until you get a good start because if you don't get a good start, there's no way that you're gonna like you know have have much of a chance on Deity. And I, and and I was just like, my man, you are you are speaking to me on a spiritual level. Also, wait, isn't this Vietnam's music? Why is this music still playing? We actually have we have both Vietnam's music and Egypt's music playing at the same time, right? Am I crazy? No, we definitely okay. This is gonna irritate the crap out of me. All right, we we might still keep that spawn, but watch watch it continue at the start menu. It's it's continuing. Hello? What the heck? <laughs> Let me restart the game. Oh. Is it done? Okay, I think <laughs> I think it's done. Vietnam's curse. I mean, it is good music, but it's just kind of weird that it keeps going. From the first yeah, Vietnam flashbacks. Water, the trees are speaking Vietnamese. The great beasts of the Stone Age. Why? Yeah, why? Why are the trees singing? The steps, you have to play Vietnam then. No, we have to play. We have to. We haven't built any sphinxes yet. All right, we're gonna keep this spawn no matter what, even if it's terrible. Early of we'll just slog it out. Towards the stars. There will be those who underestimate. All right. I mean, this isn't like a bad spawn. It's pretty all right. I'd rate it in the realm of pretty all right. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go for the Marianu rush again. Just kind of hope that we spawn at least roughly close to somebody. I mean, I see a scientific city state already. You love. You love to get the early meat on them. All right, now we have the correct music, aka not Vietnam. 
All right, we can buy that three food tile in a turn, which I definitely think is probably the play. Or we could buy, we could buy the two two tile though. Nah, I kind of want the three food tile. I feel like early on, especially getting growth, is like pretty important. We actually also grew to the two two as well. Which one are we working? We're working the three food. Okay. Pretty big floodplain here. Quite a lot of good space. Definitely gonna switch over to getting a settler. I would like to find this barb encampment so that I may extinguish it from life. So sad they didn't work, rework Egypt at all? Uh, I mean, I, I didn't really think Egypt needed a rework. I think Egypt's like... I mean, they're not like a top-tier Civ, but I don't think they're bad. Okay, there we go. That's someone that we can actually kill early. Once again, though, he's not like super close, but he's also not horribly far. So I, I, I'm feeling all right about the, uh, best. about the rush here. I wish that we would find the Void Singers, though. It would be quite nice. This guy might die. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna just hope that he lives. Okay, now I'm definitely gonna run him away. Alright, so where are we gonna settle here? I'm thinking maybe we go, like, here? So, one, two, three, four. I can maybe get this one five out here. One, two, three, four. Hope for one there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And. Do, 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 do. I don't know where to settle this one. I want to get one. I don't want to put it there. Because I want to. This is like some good farmland in here. One, two, three, four. I mean, we could get it out there. Honestly, we could maybe get one, like, in here. One, two, three, four. Hmm, that's going to be too close, right? Yeah, darn. Okay, well, we can definitely get one here, though. Maybe this is where we'll go for the second city. Lots of sugar as well. On a scale of one to ten, I believe in you. Well, you know what? It counts for something. Thanks, Bose. You love Port- I know, Portugal's music is an absolute banger. We also have met the Maya. Okay, well, we're definitely not going to fight the Maya early. That's pretty much asking to immediately lose the game. Against those stupid archers. Stupid archers, bro. They're like so OP. What are you building already, man? Is that the Great Bath? Hello? Hello? Tooltip? Please? Okay. No tooltip no tool for me, I guess. It says no. Nah, I don't feel like it. The natural okay, he's got the Great Barrier Reef as well. If we can if we can successfully take this man over, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty pogged. In fact, I, I would even go as far as to say quite pogged. We haven't found our Void Singers yet, though. Which does make me a little sad. A little, a little sad boy hours. Yeah, the Galapagos. That's like literally right next to the shore. So you can pretty much work all of the tiles. Oh yeah, what did I say? Did I say Great Barrier? I'm pretty sure I said Great Barrier Reef, didn't I? Uh, we'll finish the builder over here still, just to make sure we can uh, improve some tiles there. And then it's just going to be yeet time. Marianu Chariot Archer. 50 turns for one over there. It's a bit of a... bit of an ask, that. Definitely want to improve that tile, so that way we get a 2-3. can switch off of Craftsmanship, because we'll be able to put down three tile improvements at least. Boosted bronze working. 
Portugal was locked down to the bone. True. I feel like we probably go for the capital first. I mean, we really probably only need what? I don't think we really need... Oh my god, what the heck? What are? What's with all these... Uh... We got all the freaking natural wonders over here. And I'll just improve this. That way we get the... We finish craftsmanship. Slot in a goge. We're going to be in a dark age, which isn't obviously ideal. Without craft. But now we can run a goge. We still don't have a pantheon, so I'll keep the other thing for now. Oh, I was going to say, please make an unescorted settler. Big, big, big flood. Big flood, in fact. All right, we're getting the Marianu. Got one. We just we just want to spam these. I honestly I don't think Portugal's gonna stand too much of a chance against a bunch of Marianus. I could be wrong, but I mean here's the one thing that could be an irritating thing is if we get swarmed by barbarians while trying this. Take our divine spark again. Mm -hmm. Like this right here is like Pretty, pretty irritating, not gonna lie. Luckily it's our capital, so it doesn't actually matter if it gets hit by barbarians that much. The other thing that's going to be a problem, pretty much guaranteed, is barbarians. Or is era score, loyalty. That's the word I'm looking for. Just throw some turn 50 nukes. Uh, free XP. It is free XP. This is true. And like, I mean, with two Marianus, we can definitely absolutely just shred through these lads. Okay, he's in a golden age and we are in a dark age. So obviously, it's going to make things pretty difficult in terms of loyalty. My hope is that we can sweep through him fast enough. I don't actually know which, where we should attack first. However, I think we should probably start moving over there at this, at this moment. We'll just ignore the barbarians for right now. Snap up that new city first. That's what I was thinking, but the problem is it is very close to his capital. I honestly think that we might just go straight Runs. for like the capital. Then the problem is then his capital is going to move and then we're going to be in trouble again because it'll be surrounded by a bunch of cities. Let's buy a warrior. No, let's buy a heavy chariot over here. Okay, three sources of iron over there is pretty sick. I'm going to lie to him for right now. Just so that way, yeah, I wanted this guy. That way we have just like another, another way of getting in there to really fight. Okay, hang on. This could be big though. If we can steal this settler... Oh. No man ever will. I want to get it such that we might be able to take it. No, he's going. He's going away though. It was luxuries like air. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. All right, I'm gonna save, but I think we just declare war. Wait, well, was it still the Vietnam music? <laughs> was it really? I didn't. I honestly didn't even realize. Give him fight, Also, for a second there, I could have sworn that he was just speaking German. But I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, but maybe not, honestly. <laughs> Let's get Victor, because we absolutely 100% know we're going to be having some loyalty issues here. I would like to snatch up this settler, if possible. Okay, well, the settler is literally just standing there, so. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Okay, we have the army of scouts over here. 
trying to intimidate me or something. <laughs> okay, let's definitely go settle another city. This will help out our loyalty. Um, let's just back this guy off. I'll still attack some of his warriors, though. Hit the city with this guy. Uh, we can actually probably, next turn, maybe we'll move the scout in. Just to put the city under siege. Like, I'm pretty sure we can just meat grinder this guy. Let's kill him with the scout just for the BM. Okay, now we can get everyone moving in. I don't know if we'll, we might be able to keep this city in terms of loyalty, actually. I'm not, like, super hopeful, but it might it might actually be possible. And then I think we just go for the capital. Like, if, if this one works, I think we just... We, we capital rush them. And hopefully just win. So now we have this city down. Okay, this city is, uh, itself is not <laughs> positive on loyalty. Which which doesn't bode well for the future of the other ones. Okay, I would like to start moving in with all these other guys already. Because the faster I can get to the capital, the, the less loyalty problems we're going to have. I guess we could alternatively take a different city. Let's just take it. Okay, we're not. Let's take it with a scout. Memes. Okay, lots of negative loyalty. In fact, quite horrible negative loyalty. Okay, well... We're not doing ourselves any favors here by being in a dark age, that's for sure. Also, I suppose it's not really a surprise. I didn't realize that we still count as cavalry with the Marianos. I, I thought that they just counted as ranged units. Because they, I mean, they go on the range promotion tree, and I'm pretty sure that they get the bonus from a go- the bonus? The bonus from a goge? But it looks like they actually do count as cavalry for the sake of combat strength against spearmen. I shot an arrow. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth, I know not where. Okay, we actually don't have enough movement to, to kill that man. Rebellion in two turns. Hmm. That's fine, honestly. It's fine, everything's fine. That we just had our farm pillaged. That's not fine. I don't appreciate that. Mm, I see that there's potentially some walls going up in the capital. I would like to be able to deal with the capital before the walls go up. I'm just kind of taking the L on that city. There's no way we're we're keeping that. If we can maybe take these two cities, that'd be good. You still think your favorite part of this game is the music? I can 100% agree, Bo's. It's so good. Honestly, okay, so this is a thing. As I've been playing Humankind, like, the past week or whatever, that's one of the things that I've missed most compared to Civ, is the music. The music in Humankind, like, I mean, it's good. But it's just, it's not Civ, you know? Civ's music is just, like, it's on a whole nother level. Alright, so let's continue to get everybody over here. Um, I would like to be able to get this city at least no longer under his control. I doubt we're going to be able to hold it because of loyalty once again, but as long as it's not in his control, that's good, because then that'll hurt his science output. This 
Got another city over here. So I think I'm just gonna... If I can maybe take both of these cities at the same time, we have some sort of chance, perhaps? <laughs> but I'm telling you, once these cities get walls, it's gonna be a lot harder. Jeff Nord did an incredible job. He really did, though. Like, it's it's so good. Joff. Joffery. This city, I don't think we'll be able to take it. No, we definitely won't get it this turn. Maybe next turn, though. I'm just gonna continue to spill like a bunch of a bunch of production into just making Marianu chariot archers. Okay, this guy needs to back, which means we'll just bring this other guy in. So we'll take this city. We won't hold it. Cause I'm sure it's yeah, it's literally negative twenty-three loyalty. Maybe just a little bit bad. Alright, and now we can just try to beat the crap out of this city. See how long we can we can work with that for. We'll get the defense against ranged attacks on that guy. Can't actually kill the catapult, so I don't really care about hitting it again this turn. He still has literally 55 science per turn. We've done all of this stuff to him, and he still is just like, he has like almost 10 times the science output that we do. What's the deal? What is the deal with airline food? Rebellion in one turn. Well, let's at least pillage his stuff then. God, and we're still gonna be in another Dark Age next era. What the heck? It's quite irritating. Just try to do anything to get anything. <laughs> do anything to get anything. Joff Nor, is he the soup guy? That's a meme that I don't understand. I'm afraid I don't understand your meme, sir. Alright, I don't want to take any damage on these guys, so... I'll simply attack other things. I feel like we have, like, literally a billion things, and we've taken... We've gotten rid of control of two of his cities. And yet, somehow, he's still just able to... To have, like, a billion more yields than us. It's like, where's this guy? We need this guy coming back over. Alright, I don't know. This is, once again, like, there's literally no chance we do anything here, I don't think. But, then again, if we can take both cities at the same time, which isn't entirely, like, impossible right now, if we can get control of them, the two of them, Then we maybe have a chance. So you're saying there's a chance? Yes. But, big but. In fact, I like big butts and I cannot lie. Okay, we've taken Braga. It's probably got like, oh, it's only got negative 12 loyalty. Let's also promote Victor to get Garrison Commander. And then, if we take this other city as well. See what I'm saying? 
Picking up what I'm putting down, eh? Eh? He's offering me 69 gold per turn. Okay. I see you, my man. You dog. And then if we just, like, senselessly beat the crap out of this city now? Because we can probably take it, like, pretty fast. Since we have, like, a billion units there. Let's just move that guy up and we'll move this guy into the city. Rebellion in four turns still, though. But maybe if we take this one as well. Come on. What could possibly go wrong? Look at that. We've now got two cities over here. Two cities with god-awful loyalty. This one's only at negative 23. Come on. We're, we're also getting to the point, honestly, where, like, <laughs> he doesn't really have much left. You know? Like, he's got, he's got his capital, but, like, aside from that, he's, he's really not got anything else. Problem is, we don't do, like, much damage to the capital. But you gotta start somewhere, you know? <laughs> it's still rebellion in two turns. Hey, we're, we're stable in Braga, though. Why did I make a builder? What am I doing? I think I wanted to make a settler. Then I was dumb and did not. Okay, 57 combat strength in the capital. And he's just gotten another city back. Um, hmm. Well. I don't know what to do, honestly. I mean, the fact that we've gotten this far is honestly, like, okay. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. He's actually also stepped this guy out of the city. The problem is that guy can probably, like, one-shot some of my Mariano archers. Alright, um, let's get a builder. Maybe we can improve this iron. We'll go assign Pingala somewhere, whatever. The city is actually quite stable in loyalty. I don't know how we've managed to go this out this entire era without really ever getting, like, any era score. Take the money. Yeah, honestly, yeah, maybe for now, let's just take the money. Give me, like, all your gold per turn. And seed Braga, please. I mean, I guess I probably should have killed that thing first, but that's okay. And let's try to let's try to keep let's try to at least get and keep this city here, and then we can maybe bring in a settler to slap one down right there, to kind of continue to attempt to concentrate my loyalty a little bit. Rebellion in three turns now? Excuse me? Why? We made peace and he seeded it. What difficulty? Uh, this is deity. You can't tell by the immense amount of pain in which I find myself. Don't worry, boys. We got him. Nope, not liberating that, the founder. That's for sure. It's only got negative 25 loyalty. Negative 20 loyalty per turn. There we go. I'm sure it's fine. I'm just... I'm very done with this. Okay, we got a flood of well as well. Oh, hang on, no, wait, hang on. If he's not in a golden age next era, there's, like, the slightest chance that we might be okay. If he's in a dark age as well... Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Make him in a dark age. Stinky? Very stinky? I don't think we're... Okay, wait, Braga's safe. He is in a dark age, okay. This is still negative 19 loyalty. He still has like 10 times our science per turn also. 
All right, we don't even have a religion, so I don't even care. I'm just voting randomly on these. Hang on, though. If we can get, like, two catapults, we might be able to take his capital. If we could also hold this city for, like, more than one turn, that would also be ideal. I am quite doubtful that it's it's happening. We do have, like, a lot of gold per turn, though, so we can probably just buy catapults once we, uh, once we reach the tech. Gotten a settler as well. Let's come settle. That way we can, uh... Get some good loyalty pressure going. Let's get some more settlers, because we still have, like, plenty of land to settle up there. See, that's the thing. That's why I haven't restarted this game, because, like... I mean, you know, we're over here goofing around, and we could just be, like, winning the game. But I would rather goof around... And then still maybe win the game. I've also, like, come to the realization that I'm honestly not that good at Civ anymore. I kind of forget how to play, because I don't play that much anymore. So, <laughs> take that for what you will. Alright, I'm not even going to take it back yet, because we're just going to have to fight it in, like, three turns anyways. And Braga is still stable, even without this city. Alright, everybody just chill. Relatable? Yeah. Oh, Christina, though. Yeah, it's one of those things of, like, whenever I played Civ a lot, I felt like I was actually decent at the game. But now that, like, I don't I don't really play that much anymore. So I feel like I'm, like, I don't think I'm, like, a bad Civ player, but I'm definitely, like, not that good anymore. You've been coasting Civ. Yeah, honestly, yeah, since, since I peaked whenever I won that tournament... Um, uh, it's, it's, it's really been the end of my, my Civ dominance. I'm no longer... Did I just take... Okay, I think I took the right thing. We, we're running just some truly awful policies as well. My grandma plays better at Civ. I wouldn't even be, like, entirely doubtful of it. But that's okay. Honestly, dude, we're at the point in Civ 6's lifestyle where... Or Civ's lifestyle. Lifespan, we're like... I don't know. I just, I don't feel compelled to sweat anymore, you know? Because we're at the point now where, like, the game's been out for literally five years. Not even figuratively five years. Nay, literally five years. Alright, can we get some, like, catapults going here? How much does it cost for a catapult? 480, let's go. Okay, something happened. We'll just shoot you. How many turns we got? Three turns till they uh, go to Joao. Peaked since I won the tournament. Nobody, everyone else was at a low. You were trash. I mean, I wouldn't. In I'm not. I don't entirely disagree with you, Cyruscus. Oh, uh, we actually can immediately start war yet again. But we need to. We need to get our catapults in first. All right, well, let's take this city for, like, the ninth time. It still has negative 25 loyalty. <laughs> All right, I want to buy a catapult over there, so we will next turn, I think. All right, go settle. Get another settler, I guess. Pikemen, oh lordy, I know the pikemen are gonna—they're gonna make some minced meat out of my uh, my Marionu chariot archers. Maybe I'll just plop that guy over there. Hey, let's get a library. We'll get some sign. He has 72. He, he's literally playing like he's borderline playing a one city challenge. And he's like. He's got so much more science than I do. I'm starting to think that in like one second, I'm about to just redeclare the war. With him. Just to just to get it over with, you know. And if I, if I decimate my own army in the process, like, I'm really not that mad. Alright, 
dun, dun. How much do you want to bet these catapults will get killed in like one hit? Like the turn, the turn after we declare the war. You know what? Let's just let's just do it to get it over with. Can we cost us? Yeah, let's at least formal war him. How has it been five years? I know. That that actually makes me feel like an old man every time I remind myself that it's been five years since Civ Six came out. I'm like, what the heck? How did we get here already? I got a free builder on that dude that's going to be just absolutely destroyed next turn, probably. All right. Place your bets. Which catapult gets clapped first? Top or bottom? The heck was that? <laughs> Something has just collided with my window? Okay, we actually didn't immediately lose the catapult. Hang on, though? Like, actually? Non-zero chance that we do, like, something in this war, actually. Let's get this builder out of here. F for the bird. Yeah, I think, I think a bird actually might have just killed itself on my window. I just heard a dunk <laughs> off of the screen. Did you ever take Eugene to Chuck E. Cheese for his birthday? I did not take him to Chuck E. Cheese, no. Although I, I probably should have. He, he, he probably would have enjoyed it quite thoroughly. Okay, I mean, I could save the catapult or I could do this. So I'm going to do this. Okay, we've got seven turns until this one goes back to him. So we've got plenty of time. Catapult surviving, he's probably got zero ranged units left. You're probably right. I don't know how he could have, like, anything at this point. We've, <laughs> we've been... Okay, there we go. We lost that catapult, which isn't the end of the world. Because so now we just step in more random ranged units to pelt the city. Marianos aren't doing, like, a ton of damage. But it's something, at least. Let's maybe move this warrior over to eventually take this city, too. They actually didn't even hit my catapult, either. They hit my... My chariot. Alright, we don't have time to even promote right now. This guy is in range to hit the city within one turn. Oh, uh, man, we actually, we might have victory, chat. We may achieve victory over the Portuguese. I never thought this day would come. Yeah, wait, he doesn't have, does he have Defender of the Faith? No, he doesn't. Okay. Walls are now down. That's actually, like, pretty big. I'm gonna get some promotions just to eventually get the one against district defenses. Let's maybe get down to theater square. Slap one down over there. We have, once again, we have, like, Vietnam's music just chilling. Okay, now he has pikemen coming out. So... Our fight isn't quite over just yet. We must fight a rather a rather large fight against these pikemen. We'll also we'll, we'll, we'll upgrade that guy now, I guess. Three turns until that goes back to him. So got a little bit of time on that front. Oh come on! I don't have anybody else with any attack. Oh, they, this guy does have an attack, but I don't think he can. Yeah, he can't really attack them. Yeah, I, I don't. I have no idea what is going on with Vietnam's. Oh my god! Okay, the pikemen actually one shots my uh, my Marianu chariot archers.
Um, hmm. Well, this is actually quite, quite bad. I mean, I can attack him? Hmm. That actually might have been the wrong play to move that guy there. Now that I think about it. What the heck, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get a campus down. Even though there's like nine barbarians up there. Okay, nobody has died. Let's go no for that, please. <laughs> At least it's a banger. What setting is it where the units move fast? Uh, it's quick combat and quick movement uh, in game options. Quick combat and quick movement enabled. Let's get this guy out of the range of the other encampment over there. This guy can get a promotion. This guy, I'm just going to have him swing, because why not? We have to hit this city again. I just, except I just promoted that guy, because I'm dumb. We can keep it for, once again, like 30 seconds before it... <laughs> before it will go back. Uh, we don't quite have enough... We don't have enough gold to be able to afford another catapult. I feel like another catapult is definitely what we need. Oh, God. Not this again. Who will, who will be on the... What the heck? The, win, the window is... What? Hello? Where are you? I don't know what's going on with some of my units. Some of them are looking a little bit trippy. Okay, come on, please. Don't make this difficult. Just die. Okay, yes, just died. Whew! I don't actually know where my heavy chariot is. He's in there somewhere. The audio tunes is back, Saxy? What, what, what audio tunes? What is, what is this in which we speak of? Okay, where's the heavy chariot? He should be there. <laughs> I feel like we still are not going to be able to take this city. You think if a city's walls are down, you should be able to damage a unit inside the city. Perhaps, actually. Alright, so wait, we do 11 damage... I feel like we probably... I think we are technically doing enough damage that we will eventually take the city. Guess what? We can put Pingala somewhere for like three turns until we inevitably put him back in Coimbra. Okay, I thought that this... We have been literally fighting this one war for 111 turns. With... Very little progress made. Well, not, maybe not very little progress made, but this war needed to be over, like, I don't know, at least 50 turns ago. But here we are, still fighting away. We're turning into the U.S. Fighting random wars that really are not progressing at all, but we just stick in them because why not? Ah, right, here we go. Here we go. Non-zero progress. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea what the heck is going on with the Vietnam music. <laughs> it's just tripping out. Oh my god! If this if this had killed any of my units, I actually I would have been so mad. I probably I probably would have uninstalled the game here and now. Okay, can't click on anything. Hey, this guy gets another promotion, though. And we get another governor title. We'll get, uh, let's get researcher on Pingala. Get a little bit of extra science, perhaps. Oh, there, hey, he's finally got the crossbowman.
Well, it's dead. Thank God he didn't put that in his city center, honestly. That would have been... That would have been... So, we're, we're just... We're honestly, like, we're hanging on here by the slimmest of margins. Like, one crossbowman in his capital, and I'm pretty sure we lose. Okay, we don't have time to even promote these guys. Just because of how... How fast we really need to be doing this. Ah, what the heck? Wait, let's get a theater square down over there. Watch us take Lisbon and then not be able to hold it. Okay, can I have some lower grievances, please? Oh, wait, please, ranged units. Ranged units would be absolutely... This is painful. Oh, wait, you're close. I know. Melee? Okay, that's literally the exact opposite of what I wanted, but it's fine. Oh, come on. You know what, what the heck? You get a promotion. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I can't I can't help myself. Maybe this turn? Oh god. <laughs> come on, please. Oh, come on. Watch the if this guy if this guy isn't able to take the city, it ha it literally has zero HP. <laughs> what the heck? Now it, it it has healed one HP by fighting. I on I don't even know what to make of that. The city that had zero HP has healed one HP by fighting. I'm truly baffled. Oh my god. Uh, fellas, the uninstall button is looking, it's looking mighty delicious right now. Zero HP. Zero HP wins. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding. Okay, I mean we're 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 gonna reload, but I wanna see. I just wanna see if if we if there's any chance of us taking it. What what is this garbage? I, oh hang on, wait, the warrior's alive, okay. Okay, that city has rebelled back to him. This is this is truly atrocious. Zero HP, zero HP. Ah, we've done it! He's done it! <laughs> Alright, I mean, we're gonna reload because that shouldn't have happened like that. Wait, what turn was that 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 happened on? Is it 117? Maybe, maybe time for a nice relaxing game of chess? Did somebody say GeoGuessr? GeoGuessr incoming? Yeah, we actually, I mean, we, we did do it. I, I'm honestly confused as to how... From humble beginnings, how did the city heal HP from a combat? Your bronze for iron. I, I want to see it again. I'm also, I'm actually about so to lose my mind over the Vietnam the music. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets. A collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. There will be those who underestimate you. All right, hang on. I just I I want to relive. I want to relive the memory that was this this combat that has occurred here. All right, chat. Watch this. Ready? Watch this. Let's see if it happens again. Garrison health zero. Fortification health zero. Garrison health one. The city healed one HP off of a fight. Excuse me? What is this? How does this happen? Can can anybody in chat explain? Casual 1 HP? Literally healing from fighting? 
you win the fight so hard that you actually gain more troops. They healed by eating the chariot. This is this is confirmed poggers? Except like anti poggers? You got wrecked? I absolutely did. Restart time? Yeah, or actually wait, do we do we do we want to do some geo guesser? Dude, honestly, GeoGuessr has been like my new, my new go-to. I'm also, I'm literally about to, I'm about to go straight off. Yeah, Carl. Somebody call Carl. Imagine healing. And also, how did the, how did the heavy chariot not succeed, but the warrior did? The warrior only has twenty base strength. The heavy chariot has what? The heavy chariot has more base strength. It was a damaged warrior somehow was able to take the city, but a, a damaged heavy chariot wasn't. Carl. Well, okay, I, I still consider it a, a success, because we were able to take Lisbon, I mean, you know, obviously in the other version of this. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stop the sieve here for today. Absolute poggery. It, was, it wasn't the worst. Have you even got Minesweeper? Now that's a game. Ever since Carl got upgraded to a developer, there's been more bugs. We need Carl. we do need Carl back because I've been listening to the Vietnam music for an hour and 45 minutes straight. Something to do with the pikemen? Oh, you're probably right, actually. I, I I don't know, actually. Oops, I have just closed my live stream thing, so I can't see the chat anymore. Go back. Come back, chat. Okay. Geo Guesser. Explore the world. All right, it's OBS. Other recording. Browser. All right, it's locked on to the GeoGuessr. Here we go, chat. One one round of GeoGuessr. Well, I guess maybe two, depending on how long it takes. All right, what do we got? Press not. Als für ihr Tier. We have Kunden Parkplatz auf dem Hof. Thirty minutes kostenlos. Yeah. Well, I mean, this obviously is making me think. Oh, hello, blurred. This is this is uh this is giving me some Germany vibes, but I think someone somebody had said that Germany doesn't have like that Street View isn't really a thing in Germany for some reason. It's Albania. You think this is Albania? I don't even know where Albania is, but I was thinking perhaps Austria. Yeah, that's that's what I was. I yeah, uh, I've I've heard that Germany has some pretty strict street view laws. So this could be Austria. What about Brussels? It's this is obviously Alabama. I dude, it, it's this is about the quality at which Alabamans, Alabamians speak English. So you think it's uh, yeah? I'm I'm kind of getting some Austria vibes. Let's go for maybe Linz. Looks like Texas. Now we're going Linz. It, oh, it actually was Germany. Oh, it's Berlin. Well, okay. Fair. Um, I'm getting European. Uh, I mean, UK vibes from this. This is this. I'm like 99% certain this is UK. It could be France, I guess. I'm trying to look for any any language here. Resident permit holders only. Okay, well, if it has to deal with permits, it must be the UK. Need a li li what? What's next? I need a license to make toast in my own freaking house. Open reset. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the UK. Looks like London. Looks like the stinky of England. Yeah, I feel like we could probably go around London. So let's just go. Let's go like I don't know. Dartford. Okay, we were we were we were indeed right with London. Over here, Armitage Road at the Modern Apartments. Um, okay. Hmm, interesting one. No bike rack. Padi Masuri. India? Somewhere around this region. Could be Bangladesh. I don't know. What do they speak in Myanmar? Literally every every British city looks like that. Yeah, this this here is definitely. What is Masuri? Is that like a a, a place? 
Is Masuri a place? Indonesia. You're thinking, oh, Indonesia? Mm, I don't know. I feel like this is more like... I don't think it's Indian, actually, is it? Hindi. No, this is definitely like Southeast Asia. I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's like Pakistan. JPN, Japan. Oh, not India? Oh, that's Arabic script? Oh, is it? Why, why are we saying Indonesia then? Does, in, Indonesia doesn't have Arabic script, does it? You're feeling Malaysia? That's actually, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking, I was thinking maybe like somewhere around here. It's def I'm feeling somewhere around here. I'm no longer really thinking up here. I feel like it's too north. You you are Malaysian? Okay, can you confirm? Oh, Johor? Johor? Malaysia? Where Where is Johor? Johor? Help? Where is where is this place? The Did you notice the angle of the satellite dish? That, that, that's a pretty extreme satellite dish angle. Oh, it's in the south. Oh yeah, Johor, there it is. My man says Johor. We shall trust him. Oh, he's actually right? You're insane? How did you know that? I'm amazed. I'm amazed that this man has just gotten that. Okay. Good luck. These are some. These are some mighty big hills. With not not much to go off of as well. Yeah. Very very well done. Uh, Izudin Isaac, Ishak, Ishak. Uh, what do we got here? <laughs> LMAO. I live there. Looks like we got some sort of like, I don't know, vineyard or something. We got lots of mountains around. Greece or Spain? I'm 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 maybe thinking along those lines. This okay, honestly though, this could be Chile. Me and Dave got burned the other day. We thought it we were like 100% convinced it was the Mediterranean and it was Chile. Turkey, South Mediterranean. Yeah, see, that's the thing. The South Mediterranean looks very similar to some of this location over here. There's really not much to go off of, though. If we had, like, any language or anything. No, this looks this looks like fairly... I, I'm going to go Chile. The one that we got last time was, like, around here. That reminded me of the Mediterranean. Okay, this time it actually was the Mediterranean. All right, they're just playing with me. I'm not that surprised though about that one. Uh, and this one we've lost. This is this is impossible. Are we driving on the left? No, we're driving on the right. Um, this is like Poland slash Belarus. Perhaps the Ukraine. We'll, we'll go. We'll go western or eastern Poland. It's actually in the middle of Russia. Okay, cursed. We'll do, we'll do, we'll, uh, I can't speak English. We'll do one more round. Okay. No parking on this side of the street. We're driving on the left. No guns. Don't let your music kill you. Rafael Rivera. Sasha Boogie. Obama. All right. Interesting. I'm thinking South Africa. Any thoughts here? It's actually, what if on one day you're playing GeoGuessr and you land on Greg's house? That would honestly be the peak. Okay, so we're driving on the left, so it like it has to be some formerly British com or country. So it's definitely not the UK. It could be like Australia slash New Zealand, though. Oh, am I getting Australian vibes out of this? Yeah, thank thanks, Obama. This could be Australia.
Hmm. The plates are like kind of purplish. I don't know who has purple plates though. Hmm. Do I go South Africa or do I go for Australia? I'm going to go for South Africa. Oh, this guy says Australia looks right though. Uh, yeah, you know what? What the heck? Let's go for Austra. Mm, yeah, what the heck? Everything looks, everything there looks like it would kill you, just like Australia. Okay, that's fair. Let's go. Let's go around. Whatever this city's called, Canberra. 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 Uh, it was actually what the heck? We were in the British Virgin Islands. Okay, honestly, forgot those existed. Driving on the right. We got a big, a big honking mountain behind us. I'm kind of getting American vibes out of this. Like, I'm kind of getting like over here vibes, like Washington slash Idaho, Montana, Virgin Islands. Yeah, we got Twitch Chat Islands. We literally we are on round two and we have zero score. You think Germany out of this? Oh, maybe you're right though, actually. I don't think that's I don't think that's English. Yeah, oh yeah, that, that is true. Yeah, the white divider is not very American. Maybe it is near the Alps. This could be like Switzerland or something. Where are the Alps? Are these the Alps? Maybe we're in Liechtenstein. No, let's go near, like, I, where are the Alps, actually? Swiss Alps are, like, over here, right? We've got mountains to the south of us. Let's see. Uh, what the heck? Let's say we're in Liechtenstein. Excuse me? I was six kilometers away from the correct spot? That's actually Pog? We were we weren't technically in Liechtenstein though. We were in what were we in? We were in Switzerland. That's pretty pog. Well, that's made up for my okay. This is Japan, one hundred thousand percent. The question is, where at in Japan? Liechtenstein for the win. I know, yeah. Like Liechtenstein is not one I pull out very often. We're pretty, uh, there's not really much we can see out of here in Japan. I'm trying to decide between southern or northern. And I kind of think somewhere in the middle. Maybe around Osaka. No, let's go near Okayama. Okay, it actually was kind of far north. Amsterdam Avenue, west 125th Street. This is America, like 100,000%. Now, this isn't New York City, is it? Are we we are dry oh yeah, we are driving on the right. UPS, new aroma Chinese restaurant. There has to be something. Apex income tax, there you go. Yeah, this has to be NYC. Nothing in it's oh uh, four seventy one west uh, west one hundred and fifty twenty fifth street. Yeah. Left turn must turn left. Yeah, this is 100% New York. What part of New York, though? Uh, not that I, not as though I know the parts of New York. Where is, where is New York? There's New York. Hmm. Anything. This is Harlem. You think this is Harlem? 212 area code? How do you know that? Was it written somewhere? Oh, yeah, the 212 area code. Amsterdam Street, like, wait, where is Harlem? That's Brooklyn, Manhattan. Queens. If we can just find, like, Amsterdam Street, that'd be pretty pog. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look uh, north of Central Park. Okay, where is Central Park? That's not it, right? Central Park is Manhattan. Okay, there's Harlem. 
Oh, wait, Amsterdam Avenue. All right, hang on. We're at the, the intersection of Amsterdam and 125th Street. Wait, this one. Yeah, that's Amsterdam. 129th, 128th. All right, here we go, boys. This is going to be a perfect one. What are you? 120th, 22nd, 3, 4... Where's 125th Street? Oh, that's West 125th Street. So we're at this intersection right here, right? Nelson Cleaner. Yeah, there's Nelson Cleaners. Boom. We were nine meters away. Egypt game going great, I see. Yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was pretty pog, you know? It actually, it wasn't terrible in the end, but... That's okay. Um, all right. Are we, we're driving on the right, so we're not in a British country. I'm not sure what kind of vibes I'm getting from this place. I'm thinking, like, former Soviet. Or perhaps Russia. Does anybody else have any opinion? First time I knew where something was in GeoGuess. Hey, there you go. There's literally no, like, language we can look at. Russia? Yeah, I'm thinking this is, like, Russia or former Soviet Union. Uh, something about how these buildings are, like, here. This looks like the south of the U.S. I don't think this is the U.S. Let's go, let's go for somewhere in Russia. Let's just say generally around Moscow. The problem is with Russia, it is obviously quite large. All right, we were in Russia. We were near Kazan. And we finished. 16,000 points. Not terrible, but not great. 3.6 Ronkin. Not great, not terrible. All right, thanks everyone for stopping by today for the old Saturday stream. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll be back on Thursday over on Twitch for the Thursday stream. Not entirely sure what me and Dave will be playing, but uh, if you want to go check that out, you can go to twitch.tv slash thesaxygamer. Make sure you drop a follow and be there 7 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. Uh, I probably won't be streaming on Saturday just because me and Hannah are going to go. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm visiting Hannah yet again. Uh, so probably won't be streaming on this upcoming Saturday, but... Uh, Saturday after that, then we'll be back for the Saturday stream. So thanks, everyone, for stopping by. I, I will forward all of your happy birthday wishes to Eugene. And, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone, and I will see you in the next one.